It's hard to believe that it's been two years since my original Arctic Air Alt review, but here we are again to look at another product they have, and it's called the Arctic Air Pure Chill. It's supposed to provide that same cooling, maybe even better. Also, it's supposed to purify the air with a UV light. That sounds pretty interesting. And by looking at it, it looks actually like the next fan. It's a different type of product like this that I did a review of because it has all those different lights. Anyway, that's what we're gonna look at today. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. My channel is dedicated to reviewing mostly as seen on TV items. I look at some consumer gadgets, other household items. Once in a while, I do a little bit of a DIY just because I like to. If that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click the bell below. That way you're notified every time I release a video just like this one. One more thing, don't forget to check down in the description for my social media, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I would love it if you would follow me there too. Now, let's take a closer look at this Arctic Air Pure Chill to see if it's any good. Here we have the Arctic Air Pure Chill, which is an upgrade from the original Arctic Air Ultra that I reviewed. This was purchased for about $40 from my local As Seen on TV retailer. Let's unbox this and test it out. It looks like the main difference is this has a UV light in it, and so it's supposed to purify as it cools, but we'll test it out. Well, there's the plug. All right, so here it is. It's got the logo on the front. I've got my vent there. It looks like my filter's inside of it already. This is where I add my water. I do have a plug here, and it's not a USB connection. So let me read through the directions, see what I'm supposed to do, and then test it out. I love it when companies include this, stop, don't return to the store. Like if it doesn't work, I'm not gonna return it. They're not the boss of us. All right, so let's check this out. The directions, pretty standard. The filters in front here, they recommend that you wet it first with cool water. Um, for best results, you can freeze it. They say this runs between eight and 12 hours, depending on which, what speed you use. Low is the longest, of course. And that's just until the water runs out. This is not battery operated. I do have a series of lights that I can um, toggle on and off. What I'm guessing is that the UV light is on all the time because in the directions, it didn't actually reference the UV light. But my thought is it's probably just on all the time, purifying the air as it goes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna test this out. As you can tell, this is the back of the unit. I have to use their included power source. Just plug it in here. The cool thing is, oops, let's try that again. The cool thing is you have these tabs right here where you're supposed to be able to fish your wire in there and that holds your wire away from the fan. Now it does take a little getting used to, um, but you can finagle it and get it in there. And now it's away. So I already have this plugged in. So let's test out my lights. Let's turn it on first. Ooh. Hear that fan, it says it's quiet, and that sounds pretty loud to me. That must be high speed. Medium, low. Let's change our colors. I don't know if you can tell that difference. Keep clicking that. Oh, it does feel like a nice breeze, though. Very cool. All right, let's check it with some water. I'm gonna first try this out, just running this under some cold water. I will freeze it, and I know that's the best results because I've used these kind of machines before. But first, let's try some cold water and set it up. The directions just tell us to fill the water into through this section and watch your line as you come up. It says stop it when you're near the top. I think we're getting pretty close to the top. I'll just add a little bit more in and I think we're good to go. I do see it maybe starting right here, and there's some water coming through, so that's probably good. Now let's turn it on. And let this thing run. We're gonna let it run in high speed. So we have the Arctic Air Pure Chill on. It's about five inches away from this thermometer. As you can see, it's reading at 73 degrees Fahrenheit coming out, and then I have my this is technically the exterior fob, but it's about two feet away from the unit, and that's reading the room temperature, which is about 75 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's a difference, of course, if you're looking at Celsius, 24 degrees Celsius is the room, 23 degrees Celsius is the air coming right here from the Arctic air. So I'm gonna let this sit for a while to see if this changes, or, or I actually wanna see if the room temperature changes, and if this direct temperature, or if that's the best we're gonna get. 
So this is interesting. It's been running now for about 45 minutes or so, and the temperature right in front of the Arctic Air Pure Chill has dropped to now 72 degrees Fahrenheit, and the fob, if you can still see it back here, it's reading at 74 degrees Fahrenheit. And just to see the Celsius, we're at 23 and 22. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna move this fob further away just because I wanna know if the proximity I have it here is adjusting the temperature. So I'm gonna move that further away and we'll keep watching. It's not been that long since we last checked in and I noticed the temperature coming out of here has gone up from 72 to 73 degrees Fahrenheit. I did move the fob away. That reads the outside temperature and that's still reading the correct, I mean, technically it's reading the inside temperature, but it's supposed to be for outside. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check the filter inside here. In previous units I've had, when this filter goes dry, then the cooling sort of stops. Let me just check the filter. Well, I powered it off to check the filter and it's still soaking wet, it's dripping. So that's not the reason we're losing the coolness. So maybe the water's just getting warmer. Well, let's keep running it. I wanted to show you the inside of the Arctic Air Pure Chill as it's humidifying. It's sending that mist down here. It's supposed to be going through the filter and then out, but that's pretty sweet. This has been running for about two hours and an observation that I've noticed is this leaks out a lot of water. Now remember how I showed you earlier the mist coming through or coming down? That probably causes this to build up, but then I dry this thing off frequently and it keeps continuously building up the excess moisture. Right now we're looking at 73 degrees Fahrenheit coming out and the room temperature is about the same. So that runs us around 23 degrees Celsius. We've been running less than six hours. The temperature in the room and the temperature blowing out of here is about the same, 73 degrees Fahrenheit, 73 degrees Fahrenheit. I will say in the Arctic air, there's absolutely no water. The directions tell us under high speed we can get up to eight hours, but we barely made it to six hours. Now that we've tested this out on the full high speed mode for six hours, that's all we could last. I'm actually gonna dump some ice in, freeze the filter. I'm gonna do the works just to see what kind of cooling we can get from this machine. To give the Arctic Air Pure Chill the best chance possible, I'm gonna put some ice cold water. You can see that's about 38 degrees or 39 degrees Fahrenheit. I have it in this pretty sweet cup that shows purple when it's cold and the top part of course is not cold. I'm also gonna put a frozen filter in here. So I'm gonna add this ice cold water with the ice, a frozen filter, and we're gonna see what kind of temperature we get coming out. Here's my frozen filter. You can see the ice that's still on here still. I soaked this and left it in the freezer for about 12 hours. So now I'm gonna stick this in with my ice cold water. As you can see, I've also included the ice. Let's turn this on and get a temperature rating. All right, everything's set up. I'm getting ready to turn this on. Here's my thermostat. You see down here, it says 73 degrees Fahrenheit. That's the temperature of this unit is reading. And then the 71 degrees is the temperature that is reading from this fob. I'm not sure why that temperature is showing different. I did have this one sitting on the air conditioner about 20 minutes ago right when I turned it off, but now it's showing 71. So maybe that will reacclimate. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this on and we're really interested to see if that 73 changes significantly. Here we go. I'm gonna put it on full. We know it runs for six hours. I am gonna face these, the vents here towards us just to see if we have any significant change. I decided to put this thermometer probe style in front of the vents right here. And so that metal pin reads the temperature and it says it's coming out at 65 degrees or 64 degrees Fahrenheit. So that definitely is cooler. And you can see that this, that this has already dropped one degree. Let's check back in in about 30 minutes. I know I said I would bring it back in 30 minutes, but if you notice in just the five or so minutes, I've dropped down from 72 to 69 degrees Fahrenheit. That is pretty impressive instant cooling that I got coming out. Now I did have the ice and the frozen filter, but still pretty cool. Well, that excitement was short lived. Just a few minutes later, and we've already gone up a little bit on the temperature from 69 now to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm 30 minutes into the ice frozen filter challenge. I wanted to show you that the room temperature is 73 degrees Fahrenheit. I do not have this on. I just know that we can hit the display and you can see that it is off. Um, let's go check our temperature of our air coming out of the Arctic air, pure chill. The reason I wanted to show you the room temperature is because this has not changed. So I'm thinking something went wrong with the unit after I've been using it. Um, we are reading at 70 degrees Fahrenheit. I will say that the um, ice water on the inside is rating right at 40 degrees Fahrenheit. So it is providing some cooling, not the cooling I thought it would provide, but it is some relief. 
The point of this footage is to show you how close you have to be to the Arctic Air Pure Chill to get the relief. So right here is about 12 inches or one foot away and I feel the breeze, it's strong and cool and I like it, pretty nice. Here is about two feet away and yes, I can still feel it but not near as strong and I'm not getting the same level of relief. As I go back even further, another six or eight inches, now I don't even feel it anymore. So you have to be pretty close to get the cooling effect of the Arctic air. In this video, we were taking a look at the Arctic Air Pure Chill. It's the next generation of evaporative coolers from Arctic Air. I should say I'm in an area right now where the humidity is very low and this thing is optimum for low humidity areas. If you live in an area where the humidity is high, this won't really work that well because just the way the machine works, it adds moisture to the air. So what are my thoughts? Well, it's expensive. $40? Wow. That's a lot of money to part with for something like this. Um, two, I like the lights. It's kind of cool. Adds ambiance to a room. Some people like that. Um, I'm not really a fan of the cooling because of how close I have to be. I, I do know there are some people that like to set it by their bed at night and they live by this and they love this. Um, that's them, but me, not so much. Um, I do think it looks a lot like the next fan. The only difference I really could find was the top where you pour it in. The next fan had a small circle and this one had a larger square. Anyway, if this is something that interests you, I will leave more information down in the description. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. As always, thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a great day. Day. So it's not that windy today, but it's hot. So I decided to sit here in the shade and I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Guess what I brought with me? If you guess my Arctic air, you guessed right. It actually does provide me some cooling here. I'm about maybe 18 inches away from it, but I can actually feel the wind and it's cooling and refreshing. The only difficult part was I had to find an outlet. So that's why I'm sitting here. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review of the Arctic Air Pure Chill. You know what? I've reviewed quite a few of the Arctic products, um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to link my entire playlist right up here, and I would love it if you would click on this and watch those videos. And when you do, by the magic of the internet, I'm going to join you at those reviews. So go ahead, click them. They're safe. I promise.